since 2003. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Holden, what are the odds we're going to see this again tonight? Well, it's going to keep on going. The big story about tonight, though, if you missed it last night, you still get a chance. It's just going to be a little less intense out mm -hmm. there. But let's go back in time, take a look at some of these images uh, you guys seen. Albert had a few of those, but here's some that you guys sent us as well. Really across the board, best viewing as expected was the darkest spots in our viewing area, and that included up into portions of the Cascades. So what are we seeing? Well, in short, all it is is energized particles from the sun coming into Earth's atmosphere. Again, it starts at the solar eruption where we have a coronal mass ejection. All of that energy is transformed in the form of solar wind. Eventually, that solar wind reaches portions of our poles. Again, North and South Pole, just like if you ever seen a basic magnet, you have a in and a South, a North and a South on the magnet. Well, take that as our planet. All of these particles are attracted to the northern and southern hemisphere. And whenever that happens and they react with our atmosphere, we get the ver variety of color. So we see that in the northern hemisphere and the southern. If we have a big enough solar eruption, they can accumulate even further south. So what happens is it gets accumulated at the north and south poles and eventually they get closer and closer to the equator. So in theory, we could have a big solar eruption that could reach portions of uh, the equator. But last night we had that reach portions of the mid latitude, including portions of Florida. So this happens all the time. We have coronal mass ejections every single day and we also always have a solar wind, but whenever the intensity is at its highest, that's when we can see it at lower latitudes like right here across Oregon. And luckily, Albert, we get a chance tonight, possibly Sunday night, but tonight looks like the last best chance for now. All right, Horton.